Hello, can you hear me? Great, my computer is working fast. Today is um, Wednesday, June 11th. I just got done eating a hamburger. I'm standing on the balcony of Ken's apartment. The city is approximately 85% uh, asleep because I can tell by the lights. I absolutely love his apartment and me and him had a long, long discussion. And I, we talked probably about three hours. Uh, we went to go pick up my... Um, luggage that I left up here initially when I went down to Florida for a vacation. Went to go pick that up. I found my uh, monthly Metro card, which was amazing um, because that means I don't have to buy another Metro card. And the Metro cards have went up a uh, like probably $10 this year. And my card doesn't expire until August 31st. So it's great. I saved $10 and I also get a month for free. Um, also, Nick started today working with Rock Summit. Nick's a great guy that is a friend of Ken's. We actually exchanged um, information between Ken because one of my favorite books is The Secret, and Ken had given that book to Nick. And one of Nick's uh, songs that he likes is uh, In My Secret Life by this guy called, uh, who was inducted to the Hall of Fame, actually. His name is Leonard Cohen. And, um, you know, that song played on my MySpace in a very difficult time of my life. But I thought it was so awesome that we exchanged information that way through a mutual friend. So that was great. And we finally met each other this week, and now he's actually working on Rock Summit, doing the talent bookings for me with the bands. Um, I also hired my first or, you know, another talent agent last week he, who is working out extremely great. He's probably going to be probably be with me for a very long time. Um, right now I'm looking over 2nd Avenue and to the, all the other condos. It's a great view. Uh, I'm not jaded by it at all, so I'm enjoying it to its fullest temp. Something that me and um, uh, Nick do a lot is we go on the rooftop and enjoy it because I don't think we're jaded or I don't know. It's just like we click so well, and he's a very spiritual person. He's 28, so that's great. Um, let me see what else I want to talk to you guys about. Um Ken actually coached me today because he is an executive coach. That's a side business that he has. So he gave me a little bit of executive coaching um, saying that I probably treat a lot of my relationships, being friendships or personal romantic relationships, as business relationships. Um, and I totally saw that today because, you know, when I'm going into business, I'm trying to get the best that I can get. I'm not really concerned about the person or the vendor that's giving to me. I'm trying to get what I can get. And that's how business is. That may not be how business should be, but it is how I've learned it. And uh, he just pointed out that maybe I ask too much and that I'm asking that from friends and romance relationships too much. And I totally noticed it. I never even heard anybody put it to me that way, but that was the first time that I had an epiphany about that. Um, I am missing John, you know, I mean, I don't know if John's ever going to work out because he has a kid and I don't ever want to be second fiddle, but you know, that is my ego. I am working on that, but I do know that John was one of my true loves, even though how stupid that sounds, but, uh, I hope nobody hears this because it's crazy. Anyway, Brittany's getting her life back together. I just got done watching that, um, thing on History Channel about how the, ancient people were you know a lot more advanced back then than we think they were and i think that every generation has that thought and i think i've said that repeatedly in my vlog that every generation just has an ego and they think they're better oh my god oh when i was taking the bus like two days ago i ran into um well i didn't run into him i was on the bus and i saw him will and it felt like i saw a celebrity because will is boyfriends with this uh guy that vlogs a lot that I watch like constantly because he's a spiritual person and I haven't seen him as a spiritual person but it seems like a lot more people are becoming spiritual but this guy's like 26 or 27 and um, his name what is his name you know I can't think of his name right now but um, his boyfriend is Will and I just saw them on 2nd Avenue and I saw that was so crazy and, um, you know, I've had some challenges in my life, and at this moment I'm speaking directly about those challenges, and I just think that life is something that is going to be constantly challenged, and God, you know, knows you're going to make mistakes, and it's just that you have to realize what those mistakes are, and if they are mistakes, they're mistakes, and I don't think I'm making a mistake right now, but, uh, you know, it's hard to keep a vow to yourself. I'm going to try to keep those vows to myself. But I'm also going to try to enjoy myself at the same time.
Uh, let's see what else. Alright, so we didn't go on the rooftop, life being a constant experience, life is a constant experience. Um, my book and career, I talked to Ken about that tonight, who is a business executive. Most of my friends are older and they are business executives, so I'm actually staying at Ken's right house uh, for this time being. I'm probably going to go to the hostel um, again because I was there for two days. I'm probably going to go back there, stay there a little while, you know, catch a little breath. I'll be by myself in my own zone for a minute. Um, but life is a total experience. It's just so weird to know that my dreams are coming true because you're always expecting more. And, you know, I don't know if that's what you can always get. Um, I know my granny is laying down right now. I only have a few more minutes. And um, my papa is in town from Pennsylvania or from Florida. He wants me to come visit him, but I don't think I can go visit him right now because I would rather him come visit me for a Yankees game. But, well, I mean, we just spent like, you know, eight months together. We need a break anyway. But if he comes, that's great. I don't think I'm going to go to Pennsylvania. Um, and these are some pictures from my a uh, spiritual trip, which was a great trip, and I think it was great to go there. My, I'm very happy that my family is helping me like they are. I definitely owe them. Um, I got a few more minutes here, so I'm going to try to chat through things. Um, I miss old friends. I wish I could have them. I called Evelyn two weeks ago. Um, I miss Stephanie a lot. Older friends, you know, I don't talk to them or they don't talk to me. I guess people come and go throughout your life, but we are always connected and united. And, uh, you know, like I said, Nick and I exchange secrets, and those secrets will remain with us forever. He will always remember the book, The Secret. I'm sure he'll always remember me for that, and I hope that we are friends forever, because he is 28. And he's one of the only friends that I've ever had that I felt like I truly had a connection with, like a true connection. Um, Ken is also a great guy, and so is uh, my friend Brian. who's also a business executive, but a lot of turmoil is going on in his personal uh, facet, so, uh, you know, a lot of stuff's changing, but we're, it's all happening at the same time, and we're all learning, and life is great, and I love it, and New York City is a perfect environment, I think everybody should come here, and I think that's about it, so I want to thank you for listening to my vlog, and I want you to have a great day, so let me just overlook everything, and make sure I've covered everything, go download MG, MT, because they're the best. Money is good and helpful. Well, I believe that is it, my friends. I'm going to try volunteering at, like, the uh, hospital and the garden here on, at the park. So we'll see how that goes. And I am working extremely hard. So hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.